So the first step in the process of testing for SARS-CoV-2 is to do RNA extraction. And so let me take you into the lab and show you what we're doing. Since this is a medical lab, the first, thing, first step is actually bringing in the samples and having a good intake process and having a robust way of keeping track of all of our samples through the system. And so that's what the uh, people are doing over there with the computers is bringing in all of our samples and giving them accession numbers and ways that we can track them through the process. So then when we come over here, here we're getting set up to do RNA extraction. So Rashi, would you like to tell them a little bit about the process? Sure. So we get our samples from the hospitals or different universities. Once we get a sample, we transfer everything from there to these vials so that we can re-extract it further. From the samples, then we take 140 microliters and then we add it to a tube and then followed by the lysis buffer. Lysis disrupts the cell, uh, but from that, as you know, we, we are just looking for RNA. So then we use a certain procedure, a certain protocol, which eliminates all the other organic components except for RNA. And then in the end, we use these special types of columns which has matrix in it. These matrix have the capability to bind with RNA, but not other things. So in the end, we use this vacuum to uh, allow the wash buffer one, wash buffer two to pass through, and in the end, we get RNA, which is further sent to the PCR for extraction. Yeah. Thank you. So after this, we will take the RNA samples and we will go over to PCR. And this is the second step of our process, which is our PCR lab. And so this is where uh, we actually can detect how much virus is in each sample. So this is Amy, she's actually running the, getting the plate set up to run the PCR. Yes, so um, in the book here we have RNA extracted from patient samples as well as a 96 well PCR plate. And essentially what I do is I take five microliters of the patient sample, which is just RNA, and place it into the PCR plate. There are three wells that each patient sample gets run on, which means there are three different primer sets that we're using to run these samples. And so with the three primer sets, we're looking, uh, two of them are looking for the SARS-CoV-2 virus, and one is proving just that we have a human sample present. And so that's just kind of a control to make sure that either the sample was taken correctly or that there wasn't any error in our RNA extraction. So once the plates are all set up, we run them on our PCR machines. And the PCR machine will give you an example similar to this. And so basically, once a primer set starts amplifying, which means we can detect it, then we start getting these lines that come up in a very regular pattern. And so that is how we determine that we have something positive. Um, and so this particular plate um, may or may not have a positive patient sample on it because we have those um, RP primers that amplify for every sample because it's a human sample. And we also have positive controls. So the last step in our process is to actually take the results from the PCR and to then create an actual result document for the healthcare providers. And so our team in, in the office is creating these final report results and then faxing them to the uh, different providers and the health department.